Hey guys, so welcome to JumpSpeak. I wanted to create this quick video to show you how the app works and just to give you some very quick tips to better optimize your experience here. So as soon as you got in here, you'll be able to sign up for a new account. Make sure you're hitting the sign up section. I created a demo account here that we can use uh, and you can use the email that you signed up during the checkout, that'll be how we can identify whether you are a paying customer or not. So the biggest tip I can share here is that you wanna make sure the microphone is actually on and activated before you start speaking. Because most commonly what happens is uh, someone will start speaking too soon, maybe at another a second or two is too soon. And the speech recognition didn't pick up that initial word that the person has said, which will prompt the answer to be wrong. So what you want to do is when you tap the microphone, make sure that uh, the microphone is turned on. It says speak now. And that's when you can officially um, share what your answer is. So I'm going to do that one more time just to give you an idea. Mucho gusto. Como estas? Now, you'll also see that the speech recognition will pick up words as you're talking. So when the speech recognition doesn't have um, the green overlay on the first word that you've spoken, there's a likely good chance that you're speaking too soon and you may want to wait a little bit before you start talking. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of tips here. So the first thing is whenever you get a answer wrong, you're going to get an orange prompt in the chat bubble. And that's the word that you got wrong. If it's multiple words, you'll be able to know which words you need to pronounce better or, 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 or uh, say the right answer to when you get started there. So a couple of things you can do is number one, focus on the words that are in orange whenever you get a wrong prompt. And the second, is that in case you did pronounce it wrong or is, or is not what the speech recognition is asking you to, you can always tap the underlined word. Gracias. So in this case, it's gracias. 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 I'm going to show you another thing here is when you hit these settings, again, the setting is on the uh, right beside the, it's the settings icon that you see here next to Bienvenido. And you're going to do able to do a couple of things here. So number one, your auto mic activation is going to be turned on automatically. If you prefer to tap the microphone every time, you can decide to do that. And what's going to happen is it's not going to automatically activate. Todo bien. Preparada para comenzar? So notice that now you have to press it yourself or tap it yourself and it won't auto activate. That's a preference. You can always turn that on and off by hit going to the settings. The second thing you can do here is do a audio only mode. And that's going to allow you to only hear the audio to train your listening skills, uh, which again, will go into when we go into immersion Preparada mode. Para comenzar. You can tap any Todo of the chat bien. bubbles. You can also tap on your chat si. bubble. So there's a lot of things that you can do. No. Uh, that you can do there. I'm going to just hit this back just to give you a better reference point here. Uh, and then the last thing you can do to customize your lesson experience is auto translation. So that means if you want to have translations off, you can do that. And that's going to remove the English translations that you see on the teacher side and also on your side, which you can voluntarily turn on and off to your estás? choosing. And here we have another quiz format uh, where you're going to need to translate the words that you see. And if you're ever stuck, uh, a piece of tip for you is you can always tap Hasta. the underlined words and it'll reveal what answer you're supposed to share with Luego. them. So um, that's an always option that you can use for say it in Spanish. The last thing I want to mention here is that we have currently two modes on the app, which is a speaking experience where you're really going to be focusing on your reading skills and your speaking skills. And then we have Immerse, which is going to be fo solely focusing on your speaking and listening. So that's where you can only hear what the other person is saying, similar to a voice call or uh, you know, a WhatsApp conversation that you'll have 
Now, keep in mind with multiple choice, you will need to say the correct response here as well. So if I'm trying to say translate, hello, good morning, this would be hola, buenos dias. Hola, buenos dias. You're really only going to be able to hear what uh, the person has said. Now, you can always repeat by tapping the speaker button. Or you can always tap the uh, I button to to get a better understanding of what the person has actually said. That's pretty much about it, guys. I uh, wanted to create this short tutorial just on how to use the app more effectively. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at jumpspeak.com. We're always trying to improve the experience of the application and we're always updating with new features. So uh, let me know if you have any questions and we look forward to having you in our community.